Kintsugi is the Japanese art of repairing something broken, like this food bowl, but not covering and hiding its cracks and frailties, but highlighting them in gold, and in doing so, making the damage part of its history, its story, and creating something truly unique, honest, and beautiful. Our global food bowl is broken. Today, around the world, two billion people are overweight or obese, while 800 million go hungry. A quarter of the world's children under the age of five are affected by stunting because they're not eating the right kinds of food or enough of it. Meanwhile, perversely, enough food is wasted each year to feed three billion. Do these statistics make you feel unsettled in the stomach? Because they do for me. As a farmer, a food producer, I care deeply about feeding people and about looking after the natural world which enables us to grow and produce that food. But as an agricultural and environmental scientist, the way the natural world is being damaged terrifies me. And so producing food and feeding people well is becoming more challenging. My home, my farm, is a place where you hear birds sing music from the trees. And if you were to walk alongside me, you would be surrounded by a golden horizon as far as you can see, and above a sea of sapphire blue skies and wildflowers at your feet. But these wildflowers blow away like dust when the rain ceases to fall and your chest tightens in pain as the drought tightens its grip. And you don't realize how much you miss the sound of birdsong until you don't hear it anymore. My story is not exceptional. It is the common story of my fellow food producers around the globe. For you see, farmers like me live and work so closely with the natural world, we are some of the first to feel the true impacts of the climate crisis. We see land, water, and atmospheric systems cracking in real time. A season after season, year after year, records are smashed in burning temperatures, in ferocious fires, in devastating floods that destroy homes, cuts off food supply chains, and takes the lives of those we love. Climate change impacts what food can be grown and where. It impacts food availability, affordability, and nutritional content. And just so we are clear, I'm talking about food becoming less available to you. The increased cost you will pay for it, and the less nutritious food you will be feeding your children. Climate change impacts every farmer in every field, and therefore every plate and every meal. And as the climate crisis worsens, so does food insecurity. And I fear the desperation, social unrest, and conflict that will erupt from a broken food system. Kintsugi teaches us that we must first acknowledge the damage before repair can begin. And we have caused a lot of damage. Our planet is hurting. The way we humans are interacting with the natural world and the life we share it with is appalling, it's inexcusable. We are driving the sixth mass extinction. Species are disappearing forever. We have snuffed out birdsong and obliterated fish. We have raised forest and drained rivers. 
We are disrupting the climate in such a way that people today are choking, starving, drowning, burning from the greenhouse gases we pollute our world with. But what I find even more inexcusable is the apathy, the learned helplessness, the perceived hopelessness, and the unwillingness to work together on issues that impact all of us. And food is about all of us. Somewhat by accident, but somewhat by conscious fault, we have taken our one precious, fragile planet and dropped it. The question is now, what do we choose to do about it? Do we sweep what is broken aside, trying to hide it under the proverbial rug? Or do we learn from our mistakes, accept the shortcomings of past actions and mindsets, pay attention to the broken pieces, and find ingenious ways to create something beautiful again? What if we viewed climate change and food security from the perspective of Kintsugi? Recognizing the damage that has been made, learning from the mistakes we have made, making this moment in history a turning point in our story, and focusing on an ambitious repair. Can we draw together philosophies and art with traditional wisdom and modern science? And in doing so, recognize the way we are extracting, consuming, polluting, and wasting must stop. So healing can begin. Because the way we think, the way we act, is causing fracture lines across the globe, and this thinking and behavior needs to change. Dismissing the science, downplaying the damage, it's a delusion that repair is possible without omitting the faults, our faults. Fault lines and fractures that extend and bend until what we love is gone. Gone are the days when we had time to waste. So let us not waste this opportunity, our opportunity, to save what we hold precious and dear. And perhaps Kintsugi offers us a perspective, an honest way to view our troubles and come together to save them. My home, my farm, is a place that grows food for people around the world. And when I go walking through that land, looking up at the ancient trees, watching the eagle float on the breeze, I am full of gratitude that this place is gifting us nourishment through food since time immemorial. And I feel a sense of wholeness, of connection, a responsibility to look after this place, a responsibility to look after my home, a responsibility for us to look after our shared home, knowing how precious and fragile it really is. So let us see the shattered pieces with our eyes wide open because we cannot begin to repair what we don't see as broken. And yes, we can grieve over what we have lost and irreparably destroyed because our tears are not a weakness but show a sincerity of love and care like none other our humanity to look after humanity. We can feel a loss for what could have been, but we should feel hope for what can be. 
because as vulnerable as the food in your bowl is to climate change, it is one of the most important solutions to climate change. Understanding the power and the vulnerability of the food system is important as we recognize ourselves as problem makers, as we see the fractures we have caused, but know that when we sit down to that food before us, we are the problem solvers. And here's why. By choosing to eat delicious, local, seasonal, nutrient-dense, and native foods, we support a better food system. When we choose to eat a plant-dominant diet and avoid foods wrapped in plastics and styrofoam flown in from the other side of the world, we support a better food system. When we pay a fair price for food, we give farmers the financial resources to adapt to changing climatic conditions and find ways to reduce farm emissions. When we avoid wasting food and sending it to landfill, we stop making a rubbish dump of our skies. The choices we make on food influence the natural world it comes from, and the natural world influences the food before us. Planetary well-being and human well-being are absolutely connected. We are not apart from nature. We are a part of nature. And this is a lesson that can't be forgot. Because the decisions that you and me make, make or break the system, and that will determine who has food and who will not. So let us sit together around the dinner table and work at solving these problems. Let us imagine and create and innovate, shifting mindsets and behaviors from extraction to regeneration, from linear to circular, from domination to altruism. To do away with harmful fossil fuels, coal, oil, and gas. To stop the felling of our forests. To eradicate the plundering of our oceans. To demand the end of species extinction to refuse to rest until the cracks in the food system have been mended and not a single person goes hungry. And yes, this does mean to recognize the mistakes we have made, but we should not hide our faults, but highlight them so they are never done again, to exhibit our scars in full sight and show how they were mended with care and collective action. The shattered pieces of our planet demand a change in perspective. Each of us plays a personal contribution in the breaking and therefore the remaking, giving us an opportunity for something new to emerge from the pieces that we help repair. And the exciting thing is, we have the pieces. We have the solutions. In the transport we use, in the clothes we wear, in the energy we consume, in the food we sit down to share. And no, we cannot remake what was. But we can dedicate ourselves to an honest repair. And from a place of grief, frustration, anger, hope, excitement, vision, we can create something truly beautiful. A place where everyone eats well, our bodies full and nourished. A place where biodiversity thrives, where we feel the joy of hearing birdsong in the tree and the wonder of witnessing fish shimmering in the oceans. A place where the air is pure to breathe. Because it is powered by clean, renewable energy. A planet we decided to dedicate ourselves to fix. 
So how will you help fix it? Because the food system is designed by everyone who eats food, as the climate system is influenced by everyone who breathes air, these precious and fragile things are in your hands. And maybe that's terrifying as you recognize the responsibility that you hold. But maybe it's empowering because you get to make things better and you get to contribute your piece to the solutions. And your piece may be less than perfect, as is mine, but it is unique and it is needed because it is all our pieces that make the whole. So what will you contribute to heal our one precious, fragile planet? Knowing that when we come together with intention and ambition, with courage and compassion, we can repair the broken food bowl 